Welcome everyone! In this video, we are in the Kanto Cup, showcasing some more fun battles featuring... Snorlax! Everyone's favorite large, cuddly normal type leads this double normal backline slash double lick user. I wanted to build a solid team behind Nidoqueen because as we all may know by now, Nidoqueen is an absolute powerhouse and uh, does amazing in the Kanto Cup. But you really have to build around Hypno. Hypno is the one glaring weakness to Nidoqueen. Hypno is the one Pokemon in this meta that keeps Nidoqueen in check, um, along with Alolan Marowak to a certain extent. But Hypno, with that confusion fast move pressure, just uh, is bad news for Nidoqueen, which is why we've got two Lick using normal types. And speaking of, not only do we have Snorlax in the back behind Nidoqueen, but we also have Licky Tongue on the safe swap. Licky Tongue on the safe swap is amazing because even if they counter swamp you with a fighter or uh, some other type of counter user, Licky Tongue is so bulky that it can just hang in there and oftentimes flip switch advantage. Licky Tongue also amazing in the Kanto Cup, uh, ranked number one overall on PV Poke. And that is for good reason. Licky Tongue is quite amazing. With that extreme bulk, it can really hang in there. You really don't need shields for it. And it will just body slam spam its way to victory. And as mentioned before, we've got Nato Queen on the lead. The idea behind this team is to cover Hypno, cover Alolan Marowak, and let Nidoqueen do the rest, guys. That is how powerful Nidoqueen is in this meta. Um, you don't see a ton of Charmers. Uh, you do see a few, but Nidoqueen, uh, yes, does extremely well against Charmers, but it does well against everything outside of Hypno and Alolan Marowak. Uh, so uh, basically... The two Pokemon in the back are just there to cover Nidoqueen's primary weaknesses. And uh, you, you, you cover those and you allow Nidoqueen to roam free and wreak havoc on the Kanto Cup. Had a blast with this team. And before we dive into the featured set of the video, we're starting things off with a few bonus battles that I thought were tons of fun. And here we go. Terrible lead, guys. Honestly, terrible for our entire team. They had an Alolan uh, Sand Slash. We go into Licky Tongue and they meet us with a Nido Queen of their own. So this is quite all right. We tank these Poison Fangs and we keep on going, guys. We're going to go for the Power Whip. Probably not the right play. I think uh, if you know that you're going to get to two Body Slams in the Nido Queen matchup, I think that's the better way to go. Um, obviously, two Body Slams uh, with Stab do a lot more raw damage than one Power Whip. So, slight misplay there. Uh, just working out the uh, team and the matchups here. So now we're going to go for a uh, Body Slam, and that does KO the Nidoqueen. I think they planned that. They wanted to go for a Hard Farm, knowing that they had debuffed us, but it's not going to be without tanking a Resisted Body Slam. That is just how powerful Licky Tongue is. So now what we have to do, it, we can't come in with Nidoqueen. This Alolan Sand Slash is loaded. We're coming in with Snorlax here, and we're going to see what they want to do. We're going to tank this uh, Ice Punch here. And they're not swapping out. So right about here, guys, I had a sneaking suspicion that there may have been a Hypno lurking in the back on their team. So we're going to go straight for this superpower, guys. A lot of battlers will not expect you to just go straight for it. They usually expect you to build the back-to-back, -back, but we are going for that superpower. And we say bye-bye, Alolan Sand Slash, and there it is. Our suspicions were correct. They were hiding a Hypno in the back. So what we're going to do is just spam this Hypno with as many Poison Fangs as we possibly can. Not going to shield anything from the Hypno. The more that we can debuff the Hypno's defense, the better off our Snorlax will be up against it. Because, of course, we are applying super effective fast move pressure with our licks. And unlike Alolan Marowak, our body slams hit for neutral damage with Stab. Gonna tank this. Uh, all they can really do is go for whatever elemental punch that they may be running. A lot of Hypnos, they're not really running Focus Blast, I haven't seen. And uh, we just lick it right down, guys. That is the power of this team. Starting things off with a bang. Snorlax licking down the Hypno. You love to see it. That's gonna be a good game. Well played to our opponent. 
Yeah, this team uh, was quite fun. Double normal, double lick user in the back, I think, is going to be quite powerful once people catch on and uh, start to see this team in action. And here we go. Not the best lead. We've got a Haunter on the lead. <clears throat> so we have two amazing answers, the Haunter in the back. Going to go into Licky Tongue and see what they want to do. They meet us with a Wigglytuff. So uh, we're just going to go straight body slam in this uh, Wigglytuff matchup. Not the greatest matchup for Licky Tongue, as uh, with that normal typing on uh, Wigglytuff, they are double resisting our fast move pressure. But guys, as you will see, these body slams with stab really do start to add up on Wigglytuff. And I think this battler is trying to farm down our Licky Tongue. That is insane. I don't know if they know, but yes, Charm is overpowered, but Licky Tongue is about as tanky as a Pokemon gets, and we finally draw a shield from the Licky Tongue. Gonna look to get off another Body Slam, and they, they farmed it all the way down. We snuck through a Poison Jab, so they're gonna go down with loads of energy. All we have to do is shield up the Ice Beam, and we say bye-bye, Wigglytuff. Going down with energy, that is unfortunate for them. They come back in with a Haunter, we meet them with Snorlax, and they've got a Kanto Sand Slash. Very fun pick. Of course, uh, it did have its community day along with Alolan Sand Slash. Does have access to Night Slash, which makes which makes it a more viable pick this go around in the Kanto Cup. Uh, so uh, we shielded this, thinking that it could have been an earthquake, but they're running Rock Tomb. That is insane. I cannot wrap my mind around why you would go with Rock Tomb. Yes, it does debuff, but it does not have stab. And despite them buffing it with a debuff, it is still an awful move. You definitely want to go Night Slash Earthquake, but that is quite all right. They are just debuffing us like heck here. We're just going to look to get rid of this uh, Kanto Night Slash with a Body Slam. It's definitely going to KO. And then we're going to swap into Nato Queen to clear those debuffs. And um, shields are down. Haunter does not perform well when shields are down. And they knew it. They conceded the match. It was looking like lights out for them. That's going to be a good game. Well played. Yeah, double lick user uh, was amazing. And uh, if you don't have an XL Licky Tongue, a good replacement or a couple of good replacements would be Alolan Marowak or Kanto Muck. Or excuse me, Alolan Muck. Um, but yeah, we have a Nido Queen Mirror Match on the lead. So this is always a tricky lead. It's always a game of chicken. Who's going to be the first to no shield and earth power? And they bait us with a poison fang. We're going to go straight for this earth power. A lot of Nidoqueens queens like to bait. This battler might be expecting us to bait, but no, they shield and they get the defense drop. So we're going into our Licky Tongue and they meet us with an Electrode. Very interesting pick. Uh, so that is quite all right. We're going to tank this. doesn't look like they're running Hyper Beam because they did not build up to Hyper Beam to threaten. Um, so we're just going to go for these body slams here and uh, see what we want to do, see what they want to do. Uh, it would be nice to grab that last shield and leave this matchup with a shield advantage because we know that our, our Nido Queen would do a lot better against theirs with a shield, and we do grab that shield. That is amazing. They're looking to flip switch advantage here, and we are fine with that. The goal, like I said, was to leave this with a shield advantage, and that is what we did. We can now come in with our own Nido Queen and look to farm this Electrode all the way down. Um, we're not concerned with a potential foul play. We can tank the foul play from Electrode, no problem, and farm down. And they aggressively swap in their Alolan Graveler, sacrificing it to the, our overpowered poison type. That, of course, one shots the Earth Power. Double super effective and had stab. Not sure uh, about that play, uh, I, but uh, it wasn't looking good. They had two electric types in the back. We've got a ground type that is double resisting the electric type damage. And we expected the earth power there because uh, their one condition was us um, no shielding it, thinking it was a poison fang, but they baited and got our last shield. So we go into our Snorlax to look to play this out. They're just going straight Poison Fang here. That is quite all right. We tag those Poison Fangs, no problem. Going to get to another Body Slam. And uh, this will be taking out the Nido Queen or coming close to it. Close enough to where we can lick it all the way down. And all they have left is that low health Electrode. It was lights out for them. That is the power of this double normal, double lick user backline. Quite strong. Good game. Well played. 
had a blast with this double normal back line. It was quite effective, guys. And uh, we are now moving into the featured set of the video. Had to start things off with a few fun bonus battles. And here we go. Positive lead for us. They've got an electrode on the lead. Not wise for them to stay in on this matchup. We're not even going to bother threatening, threatening with a super effective earth power. The poison fangs coupled with the poison jabs is more than enough to take care of this electrode. And here we go. Look at this lag. Oh my goodness. This was happening all night last night during my battles, guys. The finest lag in the, in the land. Nothing but the best courtesy of Niantic. My goodness, that lag was insane, but um, we press on. Going to go for another Poison Fang and see what they want to do. Um, they could shield this, and they do. That would have definitely KO'd. So we're going to make a play in the Licky Tongue. Um, they want to hold on to lead. That is okay. Going to tank whatever this is, most likely a... Oh, we caught the foul play. That is fantastic. And they meet us with an Alolan Raticate. Very uh, solid pick for the Kanto Cup meta. Dark types are quite rare. They're, they're rare to run into or they're, they're rare to find, rare to get a hold of. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I, I guess what I'm trying to say is dark types are quite effective as uh, there are tons of hypnos running rampant in this meta. Um, so we're going to play this out a little bit. They cannot farm us down. There is no way that they could possibly farm us down without having a tank, another body slam. So they elect to throw energy right here, and that is okay. Going to let it go down, come in with Nidoqueen, Queen, and look to get ahead on energy. We, of course, cannot farm down either, so we're going to have to tank a potential crunch. We don't know what else they have left in the back. Going to look to get off this Poison Fang here, and they shield. That would have come close to KOing. Alolan Raticate is quite bulky, but uh, all we have to do is shield up this crunch and look to farm it all the way down. Oh, but they switch locked in their fresh, shiny Hypno. And that was a big mistake because little did they know we had another Lick user lurking in the back on our team. And this spells out disaster for this Hypno. This is why we built this team for all of the Hypnos running rampant in the Kanto Cup. Um, a lot of battlers are prepped for one uh, lick user, maybe, maybe one, but rarely are they prepared for two, my goodness, and uh, it is working out to perfection, so much so that they, it seems, force close their app. And you know what, guys? I'm always usually kind of kind and understanding about the people who force close their apps, but I think it's about time we start calling out these people that force close the app. It is quite inconsiderate. Um, what are we, toddlers here? Just top left. There's no need to do that. That is very inconsiderate of your opponent, a waste of your opponent's time. I think it's time we start calling out people that do this. That is unnecessary. Just top left. There's a top left button for a reason. Do that and save everyone some time. But a uh, good game. Well played nonetheless. Super strong team for the Kanto Gup. Guys, I wanted to bring you guys a strong team. And if you have access to these Pokemon, you may want to give it a try. It is wildly effective in this meta. And here we go. Not the best leads. And we have two excellent answers on this team. This is another reason why we have two the two Pokemon in the back on this team. Also for Alolan Marowak. And they meet us with a Alolan Ninetales. Running Powder Snow, so this is fine. Um, Licky Tongue can flip switch advantage in this matchup. It can, that is how powerful it is. We've already got this uh, Alola Ninetales down to below 50% health, and uh, Licky Tongue is just going off on this thing here. We tank the Weather Ball, calling it, um, and we're going to shield here because this could be the Dazzling Gleam. Going to shield out of caution. We kind of want to flip switch advantage if we can. Um, we would much rather have our Snorlax on the Alolan Marowak if we can. So going to let this one go here. They can't farm us down. We're going to go for another Body Slam here and see if they want to go down on shields to preserve switch advantage. If they let this go, this will KO and Licky Tongue flip and switch like a champ. You'd love to see it. That was amazing. So now all we're going to do is try and get off as much Lick damage as we can. 
And here we go. It is Snorlax time. You love to see it. There's not a whole lot this Alolan Marowak can do. All they can do is go for the Bone Club. It does not have Stab, and it is a relatively weak move to begin with. Um, yes, the, the uh, Fire Spins with Stab do add up, but uh, not nearly as much as our super effective Licks. Going to go for the Resisted Body Slam. That's all you can really do. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it is really just the Lick Fast Move Pressure that counts in the Alolan Marowak matchup. And they aggressively swap in a Wigglytuff. And we get some more of the finest lag in the land. Nothing but the best lag you could possibly find from Niantic. That was insane right there. Um, but it looks like it was mutual. We come in with our Nidoqueen. And it is just about lights out. Nidoqueen absolutely dominates Wigglytuff. It is not even close. One Poison Fang and some Poison Jabs is all you need. And that Alolan Marowak was just about done as well. So they concede the match. That's going to be a good game. Well played to our opponent. I don't think I've ever seen double lick users used in the Kanto Cup, guys. I got it correct. Let me know in the comments if you have. But I watch a lot of Pokemon Go and I have yet to see this type of backline in the Kanto Cup. And my goodness, was it effective? And here we go. Shadow Nido Queen on the lead. Mirror matchup here. We did lag a turn here, um, but that didn't affect anything. We're going to call this, and my goodness, they go right for that Earth Power and one-shot us. That was insane. Most Nido Queens bait, and uh, we decided to call it, and that did not go our way. So we come in with our Licky Tongue here. They hit us with a Poison Fang as they make a play into Hypno. Trying to take advantage of that debuff, but that will not help them because, again, many teams are prepared for one lick user if they're running Hypno, but rarely are they prepared for two, and we did have two. We've got another one lurking on our team here in the form of Snorlax. Going to go for this Body Slam here. These licks are really starting to add up, and we do draw a shield from this Hypno. Going to go for another Body Slam and see what they want to do here. Um, I don't imagine they shield this. They can still definitely tank one, and they are now within farm down range. Our Snorlax is getting pretty low. We're down a Pokemon, so we're going to shield up the Thunder Punch and look to farm down this Hypno here. And these confusions with that Shadow Bonus really do start to add up. And uh, they bring back in their Nidoqueen. Going to go for a Body Slam here. This is a Shadow. So if they let this go, it'd do quite a bit. And that does do quite a bit to the Shadow Nidoqueen. Going to look to combo play. Really put the pressure on the Shadow Nidoqueen here. They do shield. That is amazing. We're going to shield this uh, Poison Fang here. Because we don't know what else they have left in the back. And we're going to look to farm down this Nido Queen. They tried to catch a Body Slam under their Blastoise. But we held off, guys. And Licky Tongue, the beauty of it is it does run Power Weapon. Oh, that does quite a bit to Blastoise. But guys, Blastoise is just too bulky. Our Snorlax is nearly done. This is uh, going to spell out disaster for us. Uh, yeah, it was just too much. Letting our Nido Queen go down was um, our downfall. But my goodness, did we make it close. That's going to be a good game. Very well played to our opponent. The beauty of this team, guys, I must say, is... Uh, yeah, so many people are running Hypno in this meta, guys. All they seem to do is know how to run Hypno. That is all people know how to do in the Kanto Cup. And we make them pay for it with this backline, guys. I love it. I love when they swap in those Hypnos because it has nowhere to go. We're And speaking of nowhere to go, we're going to go for the Earth Power right off the bat. Bye-bye, Nido Queen. And just like that, a very strong Pokemon has left the field. And here we go, right on cue, Hypno. This is all people seem to know how to run in the Kanto Cup. It is insane, which is why we are running this team. Gonna just take out this Hypno. It is quite annoying. Bye-bye, Hypno, as they concede the match. That's gonna be a good game. Well played to our opponent. So guys, as you can see, this team is working to perfection. <laughs> If you're seeing all the Hypnos running rampant, you got a Hypno problem. This team may just solve that problem for you. And here we go. We've got a nice, shiny Alolan Raticate on the lead. Pretty neutral lead. Um, we're going to stay in here and play this out. 
Hour two Pokemon in the back uh, can do well against it. It just does re resist our fast move pressure, and they make an aggressive play into a shiny Pidgeot. So what we're going to do is debuff them with a Poison Fang and then look to make a play into our Licky Tongue. Um, and look to play this out. Although they do double resist our fast move pressure, these body slams with stab really, really do add up. And you can grab a shield, especially if you have debuffed it. And uh, we do grab a shield there. Gonna no shield this. Even if it is a Brave Bird, we can absolutely tank a Brave Bird, no problem. It is just the Feather Dance bait. That is quite all right. Gonna go for another Body Slam. I don't imagine they shield this one, knowing that they have sharply lowered our attack. It's not gonna do nearly as much, and they do no shield that. And um, expecting a catch here, and they do try to catch, but we held off a little bit. They tried the combo play. They're gonna look to get off a of Crunch, but guys, Licky Tongue is a beefy boy and tanks that crunch, no problem. Hanging in there long enough to get off a body slam. It has been debuffed, so it's not going to do as much, but we're going to preserve our Licky Tongue, knowing that they two have, two po uh, have a Pokemon that can debuff you. It's always good to preserve a low health Pokemon just in case you need to clear the debuff. Um, we do shield up the crunch there and gonna farm the Alolan Radicate all the way down, expecting them to come back in with Pidgeot, but no, they meet us with a Nidoqueen of their own. So uh, we do, uh, um, they played that beautifully. They probably expected us to blind throw and uh, they made us pay for it. Gonna bait with another Poison Fang as the play here is to just debuff this Nidoqueen as much as possible. We do grab that last shield, gonna go for another Poison Fang here. Um, and we're going to just let this go, preserve our shield for Snorlax. I know what they're trying to do, guys. I can see this a mile away, and this comes with experience. What they're trying to do here is they know that they have a move stored on their Pidgeot, so they're going to try like heck to grab that last shield, and, it, and once they do grab the last shield, they can come in and combo play you. We're not falling for that. Even if this is an Earth Power, we know that we live in Earth Power. We're going to let that go. That's fine. Snorlax tanks that all day. Look at them trying to combo play. Not going to work. We know what is going on. We are on to them. They bait with a Feather Dance. This is why we saved our low health Licky Tongue to clear that debuff. We have a Body Slam locked and loaded for the Pidgeot. And we are not getting outplayed in this matchup, guys. Not going to happen. Bye-bye, Pidgeot. And we can farm down this Shadow Nidoqueen. Snorlax coming in clutch, closing the game strong with an assist from Licky Tongue. Had to clear that debuff. But once we did that, my goodness, Snorlax closed the game strong. And what better way to end the video on a very fun and exciting battle like that one. That is the team, guys. Double normal, double lick user backline was quite effective in the Kanto Cup, especially given the fact that all, that all people know how to run is Hypno. Hypno and Nato Queen. That is all they know how to run in the Kanto Cup, and that is quite all right. You can take full advantage of that. All you have to do, it makes it a lot easier, I will say, to team build, guys. <laughs> so all you got to do is cover either Hypno or Nato Queen. Alolan Marowak to an extent. Uh, if you can shut down one or more of those three Pokemon, you are going to be doing extremely well in the Kanto Cup. And that is exactly what this team does, guys. Our two Pokemon in the back shut down two of those three Pokemon, being Hypno and Alolan Marowak. Hypno, Nidoqueen, and Alolan Marowak have to be the most widely used Pokemon in this meta. And that is for good reason. They are very strong Pokemon in the meta. But my goodness, there are other Pokemon from the Kanto region that you can use. Um, but people choose to not use them. And that is okay. We can run whatever we want to run. But that is not going to stop us from taking full advantage of seeing that from a mile away. And uh, that is what we did with this team, guys. It is a very powerful and strong team. The idea is uh, you basically cover Hypno, Alolan Marowak, and you allow Nidoqueen to run rampant, guys. That's the idea behind this team with two bulky normal types that run Lick. Very powerful team comp. I had a blast with it. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching, 
and keep up the grind. Thank you guys.